This driver hasn't been here that often this year, but when he has been around, he's had some great efforts. In the Duraflex, number 06, from Millbury, Mass., Pete Caruso. 14 starter in the grid. Last week's feature event winner, competitive edge coatings, Monaco Ford, number 92, from Munson, Mass., it is Daniel Wesson. Then we check out the RDM Motorsports, number 12, from Plantville, Britt Dulac. And then we go to car number one, the Shark Motorsports car from Stafford Springs, Connecticut, Ryan Charland. Car number 72 will be next on the grid. A driver from Boston in the RB Enterprises, Andrew Less. But then it's Mark Alkis, the number 89. Marcello Rafano making his debut here at Stafford with car number 88. And Matt McGowan is in the two-seater. Two Bob Potter driving him around. Matt McGowan. At the front of the field, Ted Kane is looking racy at the point. Here comes Vinny Ann Glace, 95 car. Hooked up on the outside of Wesley Bucker. They're four rows back. There is a side-by-side -side battle between David Arun and Goff, hunted down by Farino, and then, of course, the deuce machine for Joseph Graff. The game looks pretty strong here in the early stages of this one. Power move on the inside groove by David Arun as he tried to get by Vinny Anglais, but didn't have enough pizzazz to do it. He does now as he gets by Goff, and he is attacking the back bumper with the 95. Down the back straight away. Six and seven. They run under a blanket. They bump and they grind. Out the other side first. In that battle, by inches, becomes David Arun. He'll try to hold off Jake Hoff. Back up front. Kane. They can't, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, Kane is an old dog. He's been around this sport a while, and he is dominant three laps in. Not only does he know the tricks, he invented most of them. And it's Wesley Parker trying to harass him. Going to the outside on the park straightaway. He thinks that is the best way through it. And then he attacked me. Came up empty handed. Making a move is Joey Farino in car number 87. As he got past Membrino. And right now, Farino and his favorite portion of the racetrack is on the move. Keep your eyes on Marcello Rufano. First time here at Stafford with that number 88 car. He has moved rather quickly into the top 11. He's not done yet. Side by side. A bit for second. Down the back straightaway. The 95 on the outside. The 75 on the inside. Wheel to wheel. They come off turn number four. Back to the stripe. And David Arute has it by inches as they cross the line. But he is going to have to deal with Joey Farino. with the contenders are heading toward the front. And who's the tail that wags the dog there? Daniel Wesson, last week's feature event winner, along with Joseph Graff with that number two car. Down the back straightaway, side by side for Ford. The color black emerges. It is car 44 up to the fourth spot. Here comes Daniel Wesson. Down low, underneath Vinny Ann Glace, wheel to wheel at the line. And Marcello Refrano has picked up another position. He is in the top ten. Underneath the 75 car, and Farino pull it off? Not yet. He works his magic on the bottom. Mr. Inside, Joey Farino. Kane still leads him like the point of an arrow. Down the back straightaway, and Farino winds it up. Daniel Wesson is there. Look at Marcello Rafano work his magic in his first outing here at Stafford. This kid is coming to the front. The cream is rising to the top. Back up front, side by side for seconds. And Refrano goes to the inside of Joseph Graff. Couldn't make it happen there. Maru trying to get his second position back from Perino as they grenade their way into turn number four, getting the nostrils of his car ahead of the 75 is Joey Perino. Wesson joins the battle. We have three cars duking it out for second. Kane trouble. goes around. Kane. Leader in trouble. Uh, meanwhile, also involved in the mix-up included Joey Farino, and there's a car up get around the spinning cars as well. Vinny Anglaise continues to have, well, if it wasn't for bad luck, he'd have no luck at all as car number 95 is on the hook. We'll reset the field, Matt. Here's the story. David Arute becomes the brand-new leader. 
and alongside last week's winner, Daniel Wesson, looking to do back-to-back -back victories. Mambrino in the second row with Joseph. And three rows back, Marcello Refrano. He is now in fifth place. So Marcello Refrano didn't come here tonight to get seat time. He came here to try to win the race. Here they come. Green is out. Picture perfect textbook start. Wesson on the outside. David Arud on the bottom. Row number two. It is still Membrino. Wesson strings it out a bit. Here comes the number two car to the outside. Joseph Graff. But Wesson will take over the lead. As he is able to whiz his way into the lead. We have Keenan Alcus tangled up in turn four. Keenan is able to drive away, but Alcus is tangled up. Are battling for the lead here with eight to go. David Arut in third and Tony Marino Jr. in fourth. And then it is the 88, Marcello Refrano in his maiden voyage at Stafford Motor Speedway in an SK Light. Now he's driven here before in a dare stock in his one races, but I don't think what he accomplished in a dare stock can really re prepare him for what is going on tonight. I agree with that, Matt. He's really, really very potent and strong. It's not over with yet. Eight laps and counting. Green flag is out. And Wesson, again, looks strong at the start. To the inside, here comes David Arun again. He gets his second wind. And now, the number two car, creating magic, Joey Graff. Up to second. Oh, contact is made. A mad scramble. Five, six cars involved in the mix-up. In turn number four, and among the cars involved, from our vantage point, as some cars still to cross over, Daniel Wesson looking for back-to-back -back victories. David Arute, in his rookie season in the SK Lights. Marcello Raffano in the second row with Keith Caruso, part of the legendary Caruso family. Jay Goff, Mr. Consistency, Knees is there among the top six cars. The Wiz Kid, Albert Wizielko, up to the seventh spot, and the Independent, driver of car number eight, Norm Sears, sitting there in the eighth position. Staring them down. There's the start box, and there's the green. has a problem of getting his car up to speed as the 66 is in trouble on the front straightaway. Marcello Refrano was going for the lead against Wesson in his return. Of course, he was one of the fastest competitors before he left. That's so right. that, that makes uh, no sense at all. But uh, Daniel Wesson is right up there. He'll be challenged on his double file restart by David Arute. So we are headed for a barn burner. Eight laps to go. Wesson and Arute in the front row. They certainly are. We're going to check and see what's going to happen as we're about ready to get them all fired up once again. Ladies and gentlemen, as they head off turn number four, staring them down as they work their magic. There's the firebox right there. Green flag is out. And Wesson has a little more giddy up again. Knees has a problem of getting the car into gear. But it's still Wesson to lead him. Marcello Rafano is all over him down the back straightaway as Rafano has moved into the second spot. Started 19th on the grid. Here he comes, going for the lead. He is inside Wesson, so he has the leverage. They are able to machine gun their way off the corner. Marcello Rafano has the lead on lap number 13. There is a new sheriff in town, and he just fired a gun that's felt and hurt throughout the field. Marcello Raffano goes by everyone from the back of the back to the front with 14 laps and counting. He is the brand new leader of the event. And he has started to pull away from Wesson. Moving into third is Jay Goff. Now here comes Farino. Remember, he was back in the rear of the field a few laps ago as he is trying to work his way underneath David Arute. 
and it is Refrano flying high at the front of the field as he is leading by about a school bus over the number 92 of Daniel Wesson. We're going to see some points changing here, Matt. Membrino was involved in a jingle earlier. He's dropped way back in the field. As they come back to the stripe, Joey Farino is picking them off one at a time. He also was involved. He's back up to the fourth spot. But for Membrino, he's sitting in the eighth position. But the star of this one is Marcello Rapano. He is the dominant car at the front. 16, now when they cross the stripe, 17, as car number one drops out for Ryan Charlin. This is only the fifth time Marcello Refrano has ever been in an SK light. Twice at Thompson, twice at Waterford. This is the opener at Stafford. Keep an eye on Joey Farino as he is able to explode underneath Jay Goff. Goff got a little sideways, but Goff is driving him hard. Certainly is, and Goff is still on the podium. He isn't giving up at all. Here comes Farino, Mr. Inside. Challenge for the third spot as they work their magic to the bottom of turn number three. Side-by-side -side racing at its best. White flag is out, and Farino has moved into the podium spot of third. This could be one of the biggest upsets in the history of the SK White division. Marcello Refrano rounding the third quarter and heading for home. The checkered flag is out. He started 19th, dead last on the field, and he will win tonight's SK Light event in his first outing ever here at the Stafford Motor Speedway. The Stafford Motor Speedway, mom and dad are down there to congratulate him. Interestingly enough, he is a twin also, like the Rocco brothers are twins, and the Christopher brothers are twins. So I think there's something to be said about that. Let's go down to John Gates. Okay, a very happy Marcello Rufrano, man, putting the number 88 car into victory lane. Family members coming over, congratulating him. Holy cow, what a race, what a win. Marcello, man, you got it done. First time out, congratulations. Oh, I'm totally besides myself. Oh, my God. <laughs> I drove my hard heart coming from the back of the pack. Uh, I got to thank everybody here. Thank my crew. Thank you. I got to thank my father. I got to thank Keith Rock. I got to thank... Everybody that helps on this car, Tony from DNA, giving me this awesome horsepower. Staff from Motor Speedway for putting on an awesome show every week. This is great, man. I can't... Marcella, grab your breath, man. Okay, inside, outside, passing. How'd you get it done, man? That car was just sticking tonight. It was on rails tonight. I can't think. Troy Race Cars, who's your tire? Sunoco Race Fuels, everybody that helps out staff from Motor Speedway, this is absolutely amazing. We'll let this young guy celebrate. Oh, here we go, here we go. I got to thank my mom. I got to thank mostly my mom for coming down every week. I never say it, but thank you, mom, for coming. Give it up, Marcello Refrano, victory lane in car number 88, the Wheelers Automotive, Mr. Rooter Special, and what a win for Marcello Refrano. We're going to talk to our second place finisher. The number 92, Daniel Wesson. And Daniel, you got a win last week. Runner up tonight, man. Not bad. Yeah, uh, car, w car was a little loose today, but um, managed to finish in second. It's great to get a first win out here for um, Marcello, yeah. <laughs> I um, didn't get the chance to race with him carts because he's a division down for me, but he's a great driver, and it's uh, cool to race with him. Daniel, the 92 looked good tonight. Uh, how about some uh, sponsors on that car? Uh, TA Racing en Engines for the Great Power, Sullivan Landscaping, Hams Welding, Trackside Motors, Sarek, uh, Smith's Auto Body, uh, Competitive Edge Coatings, Patriot Coatings. It all means a lot and it really helps. Good clean race tonight, Daniel. Congratulations. Second place. Good run in the 92. Let's talk to our third place finisher, Joey Farino. The mayor brings it home uh, in the podium tonight. Uh, not a win, but not bad. Yeah, I mean, that, that was luck after the way things went tonight. I mean, there's a lot of people out there driving over their heads. People calmed down and looked a little further ahead. It would be a lot cleaner show. I mean, definitely had the car be to beat tonight, but luck wasn't on our side. You know, I got to thank everyone that helped me out. You know, Paul French, all my crew, did a ton of work on this car this week, changed the handling. It was spot on. Uh, Gino, RH2 Radios, Kurt Dario, the Dario's Auto Service, did me huge this week. Uh, one of the reasons the car is so fast. I got to thank George, uh, no another huge favor this week. Um, uh, I got to thank Dave Stevens, Stevens Ductwork, uh, Donnie from Rad, uh, Pinto Manufacturing, M&S Products, uh, Dan Petrovsky, Jeff Pearl for that awesome transmission that no one's touching on restarts, and uh, just like everybody who gets together. You know, uh, the track, uh, all the fans for coming out and watching, you know, on-time accounting, Mayberry, everybody who pads the purse, it, it all makes a difference. 
87 goes third place tonight. Joey Farino, good run, man. Congratulations, and what a great SK Light main event that was.